Hello YouTube, Snapmaker123, welcome back to Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 4, Part 2. Let's go. East Bay Street and Lynn Collin Street? I don't know. Wow, those cars are completely scrapped down. Well, stripped. And he looks pissed. I'm angry. Can't you tell? <laughs> okay. Let's keep a stole in. That's an odd mark. Why have I noticed that before? Keep an eye out for Chuck. Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Whoa, dude, he's still biting. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. And there they are. What in the hell is going on? Um, no idea? I have no idea. Someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Huh. <laughs> bell puns. It's a crawler. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Please do in the moon. Walk. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Oh my god. It's the boat yard. But it's foggy as hell. It's gotta be a boat. That is bright. It's gotta be. Uh, I don't think so. Kenny, man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Okay. I just realized as well that um, the gameplay I'm seeing on my TV is a lot brighter than the one on my actual recording. I might need to maybe do some this adjustments one might on the recording. still be salvageable. better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Ooh. What was I saying before? Alright, oh, yeah, my uh, TV screen being brighter than actually on the recording gameplay. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be that way. Well, I gotta check out this. Oh, it looks like we don't have a choice. Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. His eyes are completely gone. And I think so is his teeth. Even that, that was just lazy animation. Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? Okay, gonna move on now. See ya. Nothing. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Americans and their quarters. We have pound coins and 20 peas, 5 peas, 50 peas. Yes, we have all the peas. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that. That just went out just really strange. Remember, it says we right, we gotta actually go to this thing. I don't remember, I don't even know what this is. Can anybody tell me what this thing is? 
Some kind of pay toll or something? I'm looting! Someone called the police! Ah, fuck the police. <laughs> I don't like them. Okay, let's get to the telescope. And put in the money. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? And he notices what the, the wall. What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Pretty much. Okay, now have a look around. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. How can you tell it's abandoned from the here? Um. No way that one's salvageable. Anything down there? Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Damn. Uh. Whoa. What the hell? Spider person? Get down. Get down. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Uh... Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. <laughs> it's and the one doing the talking is my little friend. <laughs> Honestly, there's an interesting little fact about this this actual scene that's about to happen. What the? Hello. Ah. Oh. Ah. Whoa. So, how's this gonna play out? Lee? Really? You with the quiet Damn. way? Damn it! I'll say what I mean by that in a second. I thought it would have been pretty mellow. Not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Mind if I get up? Slowly. Once we get past this area, I'll say what I mean by the way how she said that more mellow than anything. Wow. Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! <laughs> Who the hell are you people? We're just people. I ask you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny Clementine. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> Random. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? <laughs> Sorry. You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. 
Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Why no children? What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. True. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Damn. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! <laughs> Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're looking for a boat. Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron! You wanna keep your voice down? Oh, this is a long talking Shit. session. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. And here right. they come. Just Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hi, Molly. Damn, she's a ninja. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. The climate time hadn't come, we'd probably be. <sighs> come on, make it fast. She's basically out of harm's way, so she's got nothing to worry about. Oh, fuck me! Come on, I think the zombies are not doing that. Wow, what a throw. Come on! Come on, man. One good jump. Yeah, that was a good jump. <laughs> Sorry. Her high-pitched squeal sometimes gets to me. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. And then walkers from nowhere. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Ah, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Okie dokie. 
on that. And rapid fire X. And we. Down by the beer. Well, she's gone. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Whew. Okay. Now that that long talk session's over, so I can finally say what I meant about uh, from the way how Clementine said Lee uh, so calmly. Uh, apparently that there's like a little hint on how you've been playing the game, like if you've been like pretty ruthless towards people or whatever, Clementine will actually say it Mela like she knows that you would pull the trigger and kill her. But if you've not been, um, if you've been more like not so, if you've not been violent towards people or whatever, like more times than many, then she would say it with a more worried saying, uh, like more worry in her voice, and then the way she, then you heard it then. So then she'd be like more shocked on like uh, why, like, like if you would maybe do that. that. First thing I need is some god awful disease. Yeah. So from the sounds of the way she uh, she said Lee when she caught me then. That means I've been more ruthless than I actually thought I was being. God damn it. That's a nice little Easter egg. I only learned it from like the Easter eggs from um, Walking Dead, like top 10 things you didn't know about The Walking Dead and stuff like that. Okay. Let's do this. <coughs> water. Praise water. Must I have it. I'm out here. Yeah, not in there. <laughs> He's trying to eat the water. Okay. Lefty Lucy? Whoa! And yoink! Okay, so we'll go... Ah! This way. You're spinning me right round. <laughs> Uh, let's try Molly's um, pickaxe. No, that's an ice pick. Yeah, that's an ice pick. Not a pickaxe. I really haven't been thinking about fucking seven days to die. Okay. Let's pop this on here. Do a little ratty tatty. More like righty warty. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. Let there be water! And here they come. Here they come. Okay. Into the hole, then we go. Now we must run for our lives! Okay. We gotta wait for them to all go past, and then we can go. Come on, get walking. Okay, I think we're good. And Chuck. Must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Magnum. No bullets. 
I think that's a reference to AMC's The Walking Dead, because that looks like the revolver that Rick has. Yeah, I think that's like an Easter egg to the AMC's of The Walking Dead. All we need now is a cowboy hat. <laughs> or a sheriff's hat. Oh, fuck, that made me jump. <laughs> that legitly made me jump. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. No. I could have shot, but then that would have gotten their attention. Gotta take the sided ways. Ooh. Let's do a ninja. Oh, okay. What the hell? That was my saying, actually. I was gonna say, what the hell. I actually didn't think that was the way you're supposed to do this. That music! That music was ominous. Disturbingly ominous, actually. Okay. Fallout shelter. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Huh. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. All that is to keep you alive for months? I wouldn't say so. I'd seen like maybe a month max, but this lasts you for months? No, I don't see that. I really don't. And a gun. Who are you? <laughs> I don't want any trouble. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. <coughs> I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. Vernon. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it! You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take. Let's the talk about this. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today, and I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Vernon! <laughs> she defends him. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. And he instantly just gives it. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well... We are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. Damn. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? <laughs> yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Uh, How did you find your way down here? Uh, walkers. 
A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. I'll be fine on my own, then. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own. But we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care. And I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? I never asked for help. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. Oh. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. I just said she's not my here. daughter. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Damn, my nose is getting itchy. Don't you hate it when you get like something stuck up your nose and it gets super itchy? Then you just feel like you have to scratch or see if you can get rid of it and then people excuse you for picking your nose. It's just not fair. And then you just start stuck with the itch because you can't try to get rid of it. So you're afraid that people are just going to say, Eh, hey, should your nose, eh, hey, burgerita or something like that. It's really annoying. That's why I'm not doing it now. Because I'd be on camera. <gasps> Caught, exposed. Clementine? <laughs> Clem? Molly. Molly? Hello. Oh, hey. How she not that? hear us when we walked in? Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> Here's a doctor. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. Yay! I think you have something that belongs to me. Yeah, the ice pick. Lee, thank God you're back. <laughs> Krista, what's wrong? That was wrong? a long pause. It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. Up close to the face. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Whew. Sorry if I don't talk every once in a while, I just get random bursts of absolute silence in games that was like pretty much constant talking. I never know what to say. Omid, honey, you're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. Which is a chance in a million in the zombie apocalypse. Alright, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Indeed. Sorry, my hands are just a little clicky. Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! You in here? Clementine, you in here? If this was seven I days to die, I would be mining these chairs for their leather. <laughs> What's this? Clem's drawings. Whoa. But where is she? That literally just happened! A picture of Lee looking sad while he buried the boy and the dog. Oh, god damn, that's depressing detail. Jesus. Uh, let's go downstairs. That's a depressing detail. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Damn. Clementine, you here? <coughs> that's a dark moment. Kenny? Drinking. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. He's drunk. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? It looks like you're an idiot. Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. 
Yeah, he's drunk. Want to throw down again, like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit faced. Take it easy. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough? To hell with you. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah. Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Damn, he's wasted. Clementine, you here? Not under here. Oh. Okay, I guess we go and look outside for her. Oh damn, we've been going for 31 minutes. Clementine! Clementine! Bedside Manor Trophy. Okay, yeah, we've been going for 31 minutes, so I think it's best we end it here. So, that will do for this episode. I hope you guys have all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode where we'll try and figure out where Clementine is. See ya!